So today on Solved or Unsolved, we are looking at notorious gunslinger Johnny Ringo. If anybody doesn't know who Johnny Ringo is, go watch the movie Tombstone and you will immediately find out how badass Johnny Ringo is. So Johnny Ringo was an outlaw. He was a member of the Cowboy Posse in Tombstone, Arizona, where the gunfight at the OK Corral took place. Now, Johnny Ringo was not involved in that gunfight, uh, but he was in town in the area during that whole situation. So what's the solved and unsolved? Well, Johnny Ringo died uh, more than likely on July uh, 13th, 1882. Now, it is alleged that Johnny Ringo committed suicide. He had a single gunshot wound to the right side of his temple with an exit wound to the back of his head. A neighbor, uh, you got to imagine this is a pretty rural area where he was found in West Turkey Creek Valley. And a neighbor heard a single gunshot wound on that day. His body was subsequently found the following day on the 14th of July, 1882. When he was found, like I said, he had a gunshot wound to the right temple, exit wound to the back of his head. He was shoeless, but he had like straps of uh, cloth wrapped around his feet. His horse was found two miles away with Johnny Ringo's boots attached to it. And he had a knife wound to the base of his scalp where some people speculated that he was getting scalped or started to get scalped and when maybe something scared him off whether it was an Indian or or something else but the question becomes is did Johnny Ringo kill himself he was drunk that day according to somebody that had passed him by earlier that day really really intoxicated he was depressed he was moody he had mentioned suicide a couple of times before but the hang-up is his weapon was found there, and it didn't, from what I researched, didn't have any spent cartridges. I'll have to look. I had a guy send me a Johnny Ringo book uh, about investigating his death. Right here it is. So I read this uh, a while ago. Now this is from a guy from Cold West. Uh, that he had signed for me when I was out there investigating Billy the Kid. And I'll get into him again. I did one video on him, but I'll probably do another. But uh, this is a this is a good book. It's from Cold West Publishing. Cold West is a great organization that I belong to that investigates all historical cold case stuff like this. The death of Johnny Ringo, uh, Billy the Kid, you know, stuff in that realm which really fascinates me um good book if you get a chance to read it please do so the question becomes did he kill himself or as people have speculated did Wyatt Herb kill him Wyatt Herb had made a claim that he had killed him with a rifle shot now most people debunk that but you know it's still out there Doc Holliday much like the movie Tombstone where he filled in for Wyatt Herb during a gunfight and he killed Johnny Ringo. Uh, Mickey O'Rourke uh, is claimed to have killed him. Uh, Frank Leslie. He, they're all old time gunslingers. So the coroner said that it was a suicide though. Now, is this solved or unsolved? Should we take the coroner's word for it? Oh, I forgot to mention my Say When shirt. Doc Holliday from Tombstone. Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. That's just my game. Anyhow, I believe Johnny Ringo unsolved. Still a lot of questions uh, that I would have investigating this. And I don't think it's a clear-cut suicide. I've seen clear-cut suicides, and this certainly isn't one of them. Johnny Ringo had a lot of enemies, okay? He was intoxicated. It could have been an accident, too, that he shot himself um, in the head. I doubt it. <laughs> but you never know when someone's intoxicated. You just can't label it a suicide and not think of the other natural deaths 
accidental deaths or homicides is what I'm getting at. So, Johnny Ringo. Solved or unsolved? Unsolved. This is a case that I will have to take a deeper dive on later, but to me, you don't believe that official coroner's report. It's unsolved. To next time, Maine's out. <laughs>